everyone, I'm Maggie Cleo for Fearnet, and it's the holidays. And if you're stumped about what to get your favorite fear netter, well, you're in luck. We're at Dark Delicacies, and just a warning, these gifts aren't for the faint of heart. I am here with Dell of Dark Delicacies. How did Dark Delicacies start? Uh, actually, Dark Delicacies came out of an idea that uh, when my wife and I got together prior to being married, we were both into horror and we wanted to kind of decorate our house with some tchotchkes that reflected our taste. And we started looking for them and nothing there. We opened the shop with $5,000 in our own collection. When somebody would come in, we'd like sell a book and he'd go out the door and then my wife would go in the back room and cry because she just sold one of her books and then she'd come back out and sell another one. And of course over the years we've come to realize this is our library, this is our, our playhouse, so we don't need to physically own most of it. We're with it every day. Well, it is the holidays. What should you get for a significant other? I think we're standing in front of what you should get for a significant other. We have an alliance with Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab and this is their essential oil line which is much like perfumes except there's no alcohol in it and they're almost one of a kind. I mean they are unique blends and the difference is if you put this on and another person put it on this would mix with your natural oil and smell different on everybody. Now, what if there is someone on your list who's not exactly your friend, and I mean, you could even say an enemy? You know, we've always thought of the rocks, the pieces of coal, right? The lump of coal in the stocking. Something even better. <laughs> or the entire series. That is really worse than getting nothing at all. So what are some of the items that you can buy online? Well, um, like we were saying earlier, you can buy items that we have in stock when we get extra ones signed for store signings that we've had in the past. And um, I don't know, I, uh, for uh, book recommendations, I would probably recommend something like um, the Dark Horse version of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley with the illustrations by Bernie Wrightson, and Bernie has signed them. Uh, there's the book um, The Horror, The Horror, signed by the author, which is all about the uh, pre-code comics when before the government said, hey, children shouldn't be reading these things. Lastly, I would go the Book of Lists Horror, which is like an almanac. What's the staff favorite? The real staff favorite this year is this book, because the author is fabulous. Oh yeah, that's me. But uh, I think in general, the staff picks would be things like uh, anthologies, as far as the books go, because people need to discover more new horror writers other than the ones they already know like King Koontz and Rice, Barker, you know, they know the big ones. So when they, when they uh, come into the store, a lot of times we recommend an anthology just to expose them to new writers. I think I would take the coal over that. <laughs> At least you could use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>